The evidence against him was overwhelming and too great to ignore. We knew his daughter would defend him, but after viewing the footage, even she couldn't bring herself to defend a man capable of true monstrosity, despite the extremely convincing sincerity of his pleas and claims that he was not involved. The Wall Society had been eyeing Mr. Dipcott for close to 11 years, and our suspicions had grown to concerning proportions about a year into our mystic investigations. The smoke of burning herbs and the slithers of dying snakes had said enough. What this man was capable of in a decade's time. He told his wife what he was capable of was unthinkable, the spark that would bring about the end, the bloodiest crime of mankind that would conjure the ultimate persecution. But she didn't listen. If only she could listen now. But we had warned her, ten years to the date. We had tried our best to stop it, to dissuade him, to give him our sedative elixir. But it did not work. And once he cut himself with the broken mirror, we knew the true monster was emerging. We wait now, though, for the message as to who will reveal ourselves to be our accuser.